all right y'all so this first started off as a vlog for tiktok as you will see it's recorded vertically um y'all y'all can tell my stomach had completely dropped like it was low to the flow <laughs> um but this was just gonna be like a little get ready with me for my first non-stress test appointment um which quickly turned into my induction um at 36 weeks so just bear with me y'all there will be an official story time on the paul and shy channel um i don't know if it's going to be on the paul and shy channel or if it's going to be on my channel but whatever channel is on hey y'all uh, make sure you like comment subscribe and um share the video with your friends your mama your daddy your uncle brother sister cousin you know everybody um but like i said y'all my belly had completely dropped um, and i was just going for a regular appointment the non-stress test appointment was going to be my first one um after this i was supposed to have one like every two weeks or every week or something like that originally i was supposed to get induced at 38 weeks um due to me having uh chronic hypertension and just so that they can monitor my monitor my blood pressure and everything like that but just based off of how the things went today during this appointment i ended up getting induced that night so yeah just stay tuned for the rest of the video Yo, y'all won't believe where we at today. Somebody decided that. Wait. <laughs> Somebody decided that it was time to come, like, right now. Y'all, this story time is gonna be crazy. We're not gonna give a story time right now. We're just gonna be in the moment, vlog a little bit where we can for y'all, because. Go ahead. But yeah, so I had I had my appointment this morning. We got double booked on appointments, so I let Shy just go to the hospital right for an appointment. And now we're here. So we're gonna let y'all know. We're gonna record little clips for you. I'm gonna try to comfort my wife while I can, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. All right. Let me give you a room tour. All right. All right. So we got this curtain over here, right? I know you see the curtain. You got the door as soon as you walk in. Boom. Baby room. This is the baby section over here. I guess that's where the baby go when he first come out. They weigh him, you know, get all the snot and stuff out his nose and all that. We got all the levels over here, you know. The purple one, those are her contractions. They, when I tell you, when they was, when I first walked in, they were like little hills, right? And then just imagine like, um, not technically a mountain. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> then we got Shy's bed right here. So you got, you got like the, the vital section, all her IDs and stuff. All the cables go to that. And you got Shy's bed right here. Got her little fan over there, you know, cause she she said that magnesium, <laughs> that magnesium made her feel like she was hot. In hell. Inhale. <laughs> this her little table right here. I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna clean it up. They, the nurses here hooked her up. They gave her hand sanitizer, toothpaste, toothpaste, a toothbrush, chapstick, a throw up bag. And this is my section over here. <laughs> I gotta get my set up. It pull out. It pull out. It pull out. That, this is actually really comfortable, but I could technically sleep anywhere. Y'all, we've been here. We've been here since 9:30. I've been here since 9:30 this morning. 9:30. Okay. It's currently one. It's one o'clock. Yeah, it's one o'clock. I've been one o'clock, y'all. One o'clock in, in the morning. In the hospital. Okay. <laughs> we 
Cause like he, like I said, we gonna give y'all a story time of the rundown. We just want to do a little slick little room tour and check in with y'all. They did start me on Title Tech at midnight, so I get another dose at four, cause every four hours. But Title Tech dose, I'm doing this job because <laughs> see, I'm shaking. <laughs> Cause my back hurt. <laughs> um, yeah, show them the board. Oh, all right. So we got this other little baby cart over here. I guess this is to be next to Mama and Daddy when um, he first get here. And then we got this right here. We got we gonna blur out his name, but you see, Shy Paul, twenty January twenty fourth. If you weren't at the baby shower or you do know his name, don't comment. What would his name be? We're going we gonna, to we gonna show y'all that right there. So that's your hint. Starts with an A. Technically a biblical name. It's really biblical. But yeah, we just chilling here. Make sure the wifey get all the attention she needs. You know? Yeah, they got me. I'm hooked up, boy. I got two IVs. Got, she stabbed up with IVs. She got, she got a, never mind. Now you go sit down. Yeah, don't tell my business. <laughs> don't you tell me my business. But I'm going to call my sister, y'all. FaceTime her real quick before I try to go to sleep. And before they get on the road. That's a whole other story time. And yeah, just stay tuned. This is going to be the official labor delivery vlog, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank okay. you. And we'll, we'll be spreading clips throughout the video. And we'll talk to you later. Peace. All right, y'all. So it's the 24th. Um, it's about, what time is it about? 7.36. 7.30. That's Paul on his little bed. Y'all didn't get to see his bed made up yesterday, but that's his bed. <laughs> um, all the morning shift people or day shift people are coming in. So they coming in, talking to me and stuff like that. Um, still having contractions. I don't really feel them. I've been feeling them in my back more than anything, but um, once the doctor comes in here and talks to me, I'm going to go ahead and take another shower um, before the ball gets rolling and stuff like that with everything else. Um, but I just wanted to check in and get on the camera a little bit. I only slept probably like two hours, two, three hours, if that. So, y'all didn't even get to see me pack my hospital bread. I'm so mad. <laughs> but, um, yeah. How'd you sleep over there on your little day bed? Slept cool. Slept cool. But all we can get probably do. So. So, he slept. He, he's probably slept better than me. Because I really didn't get no sleep. At first, I had a headache. And then when I got some medication um, for the headache, the, uh, what's it called? It? Some nurses came in and was checking me. So they woke me up as soon as I got back to sleep. So then it took me a while to get back to sleep. And then after that, they woke me up again to do my second dose of the side attack. So I was up for that. And then... I went back to sleep, and then they just woke me up again because everybody is, you know, like I said, changing their shift and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's going to be a day, a long day. Um, our moms have about four hours, four and a half hours. I wonder who's driving, but four and a half hours until they get here. See y'all in, I don't know, but I'll see y'all. <laughs>
with y'all. So it's about a little after 12. They gave me another dose of the side attack. That's the last dose. Then they're going to check me in about two more hours. Um, call sleeping. I was asleep a little bit, but I woke up. Um, contractions are picking up. Um, I had some really bad ones earlier. So, I'm having bad contractions. But overall, I'm doing pretty good. I just wanted to check in. Our mom should be here in about another hour. I'm tired. Super tired. Took a shower this morning. It felt good to get out the bed. Um, so, this magnesium kind of got me a little drowsy. Um, but yeah, just wanted to check in. Let's get on the next clip. What up, YouTube? Yeah. Alright, so we in the mix of it. Mm, you ain't Shy right. is over here. Oh. Say hi, Shy. Mm. Shy's having a contraction. <laughs> she's having, she's having, you know, oh. contractions. You know, I got, I got her ice. She eating ice chips on the edge of the bed. Fruity pebble ice chips. That's what we that's what we eating on. None nobody in the nobody nowhere got fruity pebble ice chips. We got fruity pebble ice chips over here. Alright, but you know, we just trying to coach her through it. You know, make sure that she is comfortable as much as possible so she can get through it and deliver our baby boy here today yes she is it don't look like no honey bun just turn around so you can like see me let me know when you're ready i'm ready y'all i had this what this thing called? This little Foley balloon? Mm -mm. For 12 hours. It'll be 12 hours at 3.15. And it's supposed to come out on its own when you're four centimeters dilated. So, of course, I'm not four centimeters dilated yet. But, um, I got about 30 more minutes, maybe. Until until they come and take it out. And then hopefully I'll be three and a half if I'm not four. Um, I am going to get the epidural. Um, I'm not trying to be, mm -mm. no, no, no. I want to go to sleep. <clears throat> and um, yeah, no. I went to sleep earlier today because they when they first put the little balloon thing in there. Mm -mm. Zero out of ten. <laughs> Do not recommend. <laughs> um, I was toe up. I'm still drowsy from that Benadryl that they gave me. <sighs> but I haven't eaten since. 3.30 on the 23rd. It is the 25th. He need to be here before 3.30. So, hopefully when I get this epidural, it don't slow stuff down. I've been on Pitocin too. So, y'all, I'm on everything. <laughs> One, two, three. Magnesium. I'm, I'm, I'm on all the, all the drugs. I don't even know what this is. It's a whole bunch of orange lines. But, um, yeah. We got moms here. They the crazies. They drove down at 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Hold on. 
Ooh. All right, we'll get back to you guys. Hey y'all, so literally the last clip y'all will see is, hold on. The last clip y'all saw was me um, bouncing on the ball and stuff. And not bouncing on the ball, but sitting on the edge of the bed and having contractions and everything like that. Since then, it's been about, that was probably, I want to say 10, 11 o'clock that night, maybe. Maybe it might have been midnight, but it's been a day. Okay, we got to do a labor delivery story time because I literally could not record anything during that time. Um, currently, um, baby is here. He is in the NICU right now. He will be coming in the next 20 minutes. Um, he passed all his tests, so he will be spending the night with us for the first time. And um, Paul is over there getting some sleep before he comes. Um, because I had to have an emergency C-section, um, which we'll do a story time about all of that in another video. Um, but yeah, um, I had to have an emergency C-section, so um, I cannot get out of the bed just yet. And I'm still on my magnesium, so I'm still basically like bedridden, pretty much. Um, so, um, yeah, but he will be here shortly. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to show him in this video or in the story time video, but um, I just wanted to get on the camera, update y'all. This moment has been so surreal. Like, I really don't even feel like I just had a whole baby, and I did. <laughs> like, there's no baby in my belly. <laughs> um, he's so sweet. He's so little. He's so cute and he's so little. Like we were thinking he was gonna be so so big. Everybody was like he's gonna be huge. And he ended up being six pounds, six ounces. Um, so he's the perfect little size. Um and uh I'm just so grateful and appreciative of the labor and delivery team here, my nurses. I'm so grateful and appreciative to Paul, my mom, his mom, my mother in law, like um everybody really stepped in and just like has been super supportive and um super helpful during this you know time or whatever um it's been a lot okay i've been at the hospital since the 23rd at 9 30 in the morning um it's getting ready to be the 26th <laughs> so we've been here for three days and i'm probably going to be here another two more days after that, um, just for recovery time and, you know, things like that. But uh, I'm definitely so appreciative, and I just thank God, literally. Uh, once I tell you guys this labor and delivery story, y'all are going to be like, what? But, um, yeah, I just want to hop on the camera and update y'all. Um, I'm not sure if the vlog is going to end here or if I'll vlog, like, a little bit of our first night. I might do another vlog, but just in case I end this vlog here, I just want to say thank you to everybody who supported us and um, who has been waiting on baby just as much as we have been waiting on him. And um, thank you for all the kind text messages that I have received. I haven't uh, posted anything public about him being here yet, so this video won't be going up for maybe about a week or two. Um... So, but those of you uh, we did tell, thank you for being supportive and just congratulating us and respecting our privacy too at this time by not posting anything, you know. Um, we really appreciate y'all uh, as this moment is very special and dear to us. Um, and yeah, just stay tuned for more first time parents and first time mommy content, you guys. My personal channel, I didn't even really get a chance to do a video of my hospital bag. <laughs> None of that, because uh, everything just happened so fast. So, you guys will hear about that in our labor and delivery story time. Um, but, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.